<laughs> what needs to occur to help Mitch see the field better and minimize missed reads? To be honest, arm for arm, I'm taking Mitch over Kenny. And I feel the only reason eight comes in is if Mitch keeps missing reads. Then again, who's to say eight will see the field better? Well, I do like, you know, that kind of thought process with it. I guess my biggest issue is with the narrative that Mitch doesn't see the field. That's my disconnect. It's not that he doesn't see the field. As I talked about before, uh, a couple of times before, when it comes to Mitch, it's about his risk and reward management or how he, you know, deals with that on a plan and play out basis. He understands the high percentage throws because he reads the coverage and he'll say, okay, this is zone right here. So I need to go right now to this out route, or I need to go right now to this flat route. And on paper, if you're talking high percentage throws, yes, that is the right read to make. That is the high percentage throw. It's the safe throw. But when you're talking about if this is a situation where you need to push that ball down the field, you need to go beyond the sticks. Now you're not necessarily saying because of this being the coverage and that being the high percentage throw, that's the one you should make. No, you shouldn't make that throw anymore. You need to take that chance and put it into a situation where you're giving your guy a chance, 50-50 ball. So with that... I don't think it's necessarily uh, him not being able to read the field because I think he reads and he processes it very fast. I just think for him, he needs to be able to do more of what we saw Thursday night, which was him saying, you know what? I'm going to dial back being so cautious. I'm going to dial back being so overprotective of the football, and I'm actually going to put the ball in positions where my receivers can go make a play. That George Pickens pass, the Deontay Johnson throw, he's not throwing those type of passes in those first two weeks, man. But we started to see more of him being more intentional downfield. That's what we need to see more of. Now, in terms of the arm strength and some of those type of nuances, you know everybody's going to have their opinions with that, so that's why I stay up out of that thing. But as a whole, man, I do think that that's the part that Mitch has to improve upon is just cutting it loose more, the frequency part of it. He needs to do it more. But we shall see, man. We shall see. Today's show <clears throat> is brought to you by True Classic Tees. Now, y'all seen us wear these tees on the show before, man. Extra comfy. And I love the fact that when you're talking about the design of them, I talked about, man, that athletic tailored feel, but at the same time, a little bit more room in that men's section for the guys that used to have them six packs that no longer reside with six packs anymore. But either way, man. It's a dope site, man. They got dope material up there, man, in terms of the T-shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, things like that, man. And as D could tell you as well, they do feel really nice and comfy, man. So I definitely like that. But yeah. more importantly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is true. This is definitely true, man. But more importantly, we got a promo code for you, baby. That promo code is MOTES. If you use that, you get 25% off at trueclassictees.com, baby. So. Like I said, man, don't waste time, man. Get with the cool kids, baby, because these shirts for guys or ladies, you will enjoy them. Okay? Trust me on this one. So, shout out to True Classic Tees, and more importantly, shout out to them for sponsoring today's show. <laughs> 